Hey guys, I'm putting out this quick video for those of you who haven't decided what you want to do with your free 5 star ticket. If you're somehow completely clueless, uh, let me remind you that when this came out on the Japanese server, people called it the free waiver ticket. I'm going to assume you're looking for a little more than pick waiver, since you're here after all. So I'll be highlighting some of the key servants over the course of this video. As usual, waifu before meta. There isn't a point in playing if you aren't having fun, and now, without further ado, on to the servants. All of the three available sabers are AoE. Artoria has the most party support, shortest cooldown battery, and highest damage. She's mechanically the best of the three sabers and will get even better with the anniversary coming up in a couple months. Artemis is a 5-star Uriel. If Uriel wasn't good enough for you for some reason, I guess she has an evade and higher base attack. Now, you'd be forgiven for thinking this was Orion, but no, it's pretty much 100% Artemis. Napoleon is probably the better of the two AoE archers due to his superior team support, super effective modifier, and invuln pierce, which Arjuna is sorely lacking. Best Clay is a solo god and an amazing single target lancer. He can probably find a place in everyone's Caldea. Karna, despite his age, is still a solid AoE lancer thanks in part to his super effective modifier against Divine and a decent 25% battery with upside. Dio, or Ozymandias, drops pyramids on people. His imperial privilege can be combined with this battery to become infallible. He's good both as a DPS support thanks to a 20% battery and charisma and for killing bosses. You should probably consider picking him. I know I am. Drake is a wave clearing buster with a 50% battery. She's there to delete a wave and clean up the remainder. If one wave isn't enough, there's always Achilles. He's a big fan of a certain purple haired goddess, but even without her, he has solid NP gain, decent defenses, and longer term buffs that will last you through an extended fight. Master. It's a bit of a fun class. You've got one stinker, one person who I'm absolutely sure you have or you wouldn't be watching this video, one of the only two single target 5 star casters in the game, a decent and incredibly cute AoE caster with a 50% battery, mana burst, and of course you have Mikon, the premium art support servant who's about to be ousted from her throne by an unstoppable tide of saber simps in a couple months. Don't worry Tomo fans, I have an extra large can of copium for you guys right here. And I'm sure lasagna will buff Tomo into relevant soon. Any day now. Well, if you don't have Assassin Shiki or Kama, you probably want Jack. She's a disgustingly good assassin that, as an added bonus, is also super effective against women. So, Vlad. Vlad is your only single target choice here, and to be honest, he's alright for the next couple months. With Castor Artori, this man becomes a single target looping machine, and he dummies everyone. Except Abby. You know, foreigner class advantage. Cheng Yu is okay, but no battery is no bueno. Nightingale has a surprising amount of useful support abilities, but she's really let down by her class and surpassed by other more specific servants. I trust that most people know Jean from Orleans, but in case you forgot, she's a stalling machine. The Lightworks tried sp sprinkling a little bit of durability and defense on her, but accidentally ended up making a servant that turns anything she touches into a grueling war of attrition. It's honestly kind of fun sometimes to pick up Mash, Jean, and like a Merlin or Waver and spend 40 turns killing something. Then we have Janako, uh, an AoE Moon Cancer. I'm not really certain you'd ever need one of these, but it's cool she exists. And that's all I've got for you guys today. Like and subscribe, all that bullshit. If you want to hang out and play some Grand Order with me, come find me on Twitch. We're usually playing Grand Order, visual novels, or whatever piques my curiosity most days of the week. Anyway, thanks for watching, and have a great day.